Hey Patriots, it's Jerry and Matt. We're here with our good buddy Max Lozada. He's down visiting from uh, Pennsylvania. He's going to take a class with us uh, this weekend. And so we got together this afternoon to uh, play with Matt's new toy and uh, hang out a little bit. Uh, Matt, you picked up a M&P Shield Plus. Yep. So uh, just right off the bat, guys, we have a, uh, a clear gun. It's all nice and safe and sound. Uh, nothing in the chamber. Uh, all that blah, blah. So, uh, yep, got a hold of a, a Shield Plus, and uh, we just came off the range uh, with it. So, uh, why don't you guys go check out some of that footage right now? Ready? Yeah, so we picked up the Shield Plus, yeah, basically for as another option for our students. Uh, we have a pretty large rental fleet. We uh, we provide for our version of concealed carry class. We dubbed it comprehensive concealed carry. So, um, but so far we've all been out on the range, like you saw, and uh, fairly impressed with it. Uh, in my opinion, it comes. Uh, let's see, I've had all three versions of the Shield. I've never had one of the performance models or anything of that nature, but you know the, the standard 1.0, the 2.0, and now the Shield Plus. So um, definitely a upgrade in uh, magazine capacity, right? So the original Shield or even a 2.0, they come with either a, a seven round mag or an eight round mag, right? So uh, right off the bat, the Shield Plus has a 10 round mag, which is kind of uh, a more flush uh, mounting mag. You can kind of see that there, correct? And then uh, they've got a little bit longer mag with an extension on it. And this one is a 13 round mag. So it uh, extends the grip a little bit. So if I were to hold this left-handed, uh, you can see that that now, I'm able to wrap my pinky on it as far as a, a little bit more leverage. So um, now we'll just kind of get into our, our impressions of, of what we think about the think about the gun. So we'll start with Max, because he got his big bear paws on it. <laughs> and uh sent a few rounds down range so max what'd you think of it i mean for me it was it was comfortable i mean it was a little weird with the shorter one um which is obviously better for concealing um this is your enemy when concealing um so that was is nice in that respect uh with the 13 rounder like it was perfect um i love the grip texture i've only shot one other mp which was a gen one and um i really like the grip texture on on this um, it's not too much, not too little. Feels good. Um, size of the gun was good. Um, yeah, I mean, all around it was it, it was it shot really really well. Yeah, I would say that the grip texture isn't quite as aggressive as the 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 Shield 2.0. It almost needed to be sanded down a little. Which bit. a lot of people said, yeah. You know, if you're wearing something, you know, a t-shirt or, or something with like a pick type of fabric, is really going to get hung up on yep, that on that sure. fabric. So, uh, how about you, Jerry? What you think? I thought the gun shot great, enjoyed it. Uh, one of the things that I didn't like about it was the um, trigger reset. Uh, it was just not what I was used to. It, it does reset. It just took me a little bit longer yeah. to get yeah. used so to So these that. guys are dedicated. Glock. Uh, fairly, yeah, Glock guys. Yep. And they get that real hard, uh, real distinct uh, trigger reset uh, click. Yeah. And one negative I would have to say for me is that I, I gripped the hell out of the gun. Like, that's just what I've done for forever. Um, so my issue was is that I was riding that slide release. Like, 
in slide stop. Like it was just, I was on it. So at first we were wondering if the gun was, if the gun was locking back. Um, it was definitely not the gun. It was absolutely 100% user error. Um, and it's a training issue. Uh, you could definitely train away from it. Um, but yeah, that, that was the only, only hiccup that I saw. And like he said, the reset, when you're used to shooting a Glock, you feel that reset. Hell, if you listen, you hear the reset. Um, so when you're used to that, uh, it's a little mushy in that respect. The trigger was fine, but the reset was not quite tactile. Cool. And then as far as uh, feedback for me, I got a couple of things. Um, you know, about the grip, uh, what you don't really see is that the grip is actually a little bit wider. Uh, they did something about the geometry. It's a little bit wider grip than the Gen 1 and Gen 2. I've heard some people talk about uh, it almost feels like those, those first two gins, like they're holding like a blade in their hand. Uh, it's kind of a uh, really kind of, I don't know, it's just kind of sharp in, in, in the web spacing of the thumb. I think they did a really nice job and it's probably a, a artifact of trying to make a bigger magazine to have more capacity. So, um, so the grip is a little bit fatter. Uh, and it, it's a nice grip to me. So, um, so that, that's definitely an improvement. Let's see, uh, again, Trigger, you know, I've, I've been shooting a, a SIG 365 for a while, so uh, they're both fairly similar. Now, from switching over from a, a SIG to the Shield, total, you know, different, you know, grip angle. So this is kind of going back more towards that, that Glock grip angle. So uh, I think it could be a, a player. Obviously, this one came standard with the, uh, with the traditional kind of, dot or notch and post white sights that come on the shields and uh you know some of the things that would need to be switched out would be you know changing uh the sights over to something that has a more aggressive angle uh it's very hard to if you needed to do a one hand manipulation uh you know such as uh sorry such as uh running something off your belt things like that it's you almost can't do it off that angle of a of a sight so Getting something that has a little bit more of a 90 degree angle on the site, something that you could grab onto. And then uh, just just know if you're interested in the Shield Plus and you want to check it out, um, that you have to be careful if you previously had a uh, first or second generation. So this is a, a great holster. This is from NSR. Uh, this holster has been a, a good battle buddy of mine through uh, several long trainings and uh, did great. And I never had any problem with it. So. But and that was with the Shield 2.0. With, with the Shield 1 uh, and 2.0, right? So, um, but as, uh, I guess, artifact of this being a little bit wider and uh, the mag release is a little bit bigger, a little bit more positive, easier to grab onto. Um, so if I just kind of squeeze this like so, it very easily pops out the magazine. So recommendation, if you're going to get a, uh, I'm, I'm a proponent of having the, uh, the mag release covered yes. at least halfway like Green Force Tactical yes. does it. Uh, so recommendation, if you're going to pick up a, a MP Shield Plus, get you a new holster uh, for it. One that's purposely built for it. So that would be uh, the strongest yeah. recommendation. And also switching over to a good pair of night sights on the Shield Plus. So I mean, life-saving gear is not something you want to chintz on, especially a $60 holster. Or a seventy dollar holster. Yeah, it's just not what you want to be. Yep. Doing. Don't put your five or six hundred dollar yep. investment in a twenty dollar holster. Yep. Right. So go to the folks that do it uh, all day, every day, and professionally, and get one uh, custom made. So, uh, any other feedback? No. We're good man. Cool guys. So uh, maybe we'll do some more videos of this uh, gun uh, along the way. We'll maybe report back on its performance and things of that nature. If you liked uh, the video, we strongly encourage you to hit the like button, head over to the uh, notification button, toggle it to all so you can catch all of our uh, notifications. Uh, got at least one video coming out a week. We do a live stream every week. Uh, if you're new to us here at Prepared Patriot, head over to, we're all across the socials on Prepared Patriot NC. Uh, if you want to check out Max's uh, channel, where can they find you, Max? Uh, Max Lazana on YouTube. So that's L-I-Z-A-N-A. -A. Yep. Yeah, cool. So uh, without any further uh, feedback, uh, here we are, Prepared Patriot, and we'll uh, encourage you to carry smart, carry safe, be prepared. Thanks for watching.